Okay, hello you people. I'm, I'm in the process of putting these uh, Showa 47U forks on my XRL650 and there are some, uh, it's a popular conversion but there's a little bit more work to it than what people think and there's a couple of uh, dissimilarities that uh, most people aren't aware of. The biggest one, the biggest dissimilarity, this is the Honda CR250 90, 1999 uh, triple clamp lower triple clamp and they use 30 millimeter tapered roller bearings while the stock Honda XRL and XR650 they use 26 millimeters so you won't be able to use the stock uh, uh, steering stem so you have to press that out and then use the 26 millimeter bearings and you have to also have to make a bushing now these bushings press in right over here this is one that's finished I've got the 26 millimeter bearings on here and you can see there's a bushing right down in there and it's about a three to five millimeter press fit and now this here is a, another difference is this is a 2003 YZ250 triple clamp and here's the stock one I just pulled out of the bike and uh, the major, uh, another major difference is, is the, the steering stops now on the on the on the uh, XR650, the steering top stops come against, push against, or stop against the. Uh, there's a lug on the frame, and not they're on the front. But the problem with the uh, CRF or CR250 is that the stops are at the back, so they're locating on the wrong side. So you say, well, I can you just cut this off? Yeah, but you don't. You'll only have just a tiny bit of steering stop left. Once again. XRL stops on the front this one stops on the back because here's what's happening there's a lug right here on the XRL frame and that, that's where the steering stop comes on this side and that side but on the uh, CRF forks and so on the steering stops touch back here so that's an issue you, you guys have got to work out and th these forks are off a 99 or a 2000 CR250 and how do I know that? because that number right there you can look that number up on your fork and uh, find out what what uh, what year you, those are and another difference is is that these forks from the center of the axle all the way down to the top of the tube not not counting the cap but right at the top of that tube these are about a half half inch longer so if you if you put these in flush you know, with the top of the tube, you're going to be raking it out, kind of like a chopper. But anyway, so uh, anyway, so okay, so so that that takes care of that. So you got to take that into compensation. But what I'm going to do with these forks, I'm going to lower. Uh, I'm going to put them in right now, just see if they need any valving changes. You know, and I'll probably just put them up into the triple clamps a half inch. Now, some guys say, well, why can't you just put them up in the triple clamps an inch and a half or two inches? Well, that's kind of bogus because they don't realize what happens is that when you bottom out the forks you, you, there's a risk of, uh, of uh, the wheel coming in contact with the underside of the front fender and if that s skids the front wheel you're going over the bars into the hospital so I I'm guessing you know you, you probably have a half inch maybe three quarters of an inch of clearance you know when these all forks are pretty much bottomed out to the to, till it comes in contact with the front fender so the, the spacers I'm going to put in I'm, uh, the, since these are about a half inch longer and these are 12.4 travel I'm going to reduce the travel on these when I do take them apart after a trial run I'm going to put inch in in 1.4 spacers in you know inside the uh, inner damper and that on, and that doesn't uh, that that'll reduce the travel to 11 inches and it's going to lower the bike one inch because like I said there's a half inch extra length here so that's going to take care of that and then I'm going to put a quarter inch spacer in the back of the shock and that will uh, lower the in, uh, the back about one inch. So I'm going to drop the bike one complete inch. I'm six foot one with a 34 inch inseam, and I can get on and off the bike okay. But if, if you're on the side of a hill somewhere, and even, even with me, it's, it's, it gets a little precarious. Anyway, so there we go. And then uh, th these C uh, YZ250 tr lower triple clamps, th they catch the uh, the front of the uh, steering stop on the XR pretty good uh, but they come right into the corner so what I did once again I added a little one uh, eighth by half inch by one inch long 
a little screw uh, spacer and then I drilled and tapped 832 a couple of them underneath there and that, that, that just gives it a little bit better contact although that's not really necessary because uh, you shouldn't have an issue too much and I had to, uh, th these triple clamps the distance the center distance from the, the YZ triple clamp center distance from this tube to that tube is two millimeters shorter than the because uh, I measured everything with a CMM at work uh, two millimeters uh, closer together than those that, that's not going to be that big of a deal but so what I did I wanted to use my stock this is the OEM upper triple I wanted to use the uh, OEM uh, ignition switch with steering lock so I machined my own upper triple clamp to match these 98 or uh, excuse me 2003 uh, YZ250 and I've, I've made machine my own bar riser so it's, it's going to work out pretty good now the, the issue is another thing is that these YZ triple clamps are two, uh, one 25 millimeter offset and you say ah oh, crumb everybody talks about offset you know 24 millimeters and so on but that's only half of the story because what's happening is uh, these well, oh, well anyway the stock forks on the XR the, the, the conventional forks that they, they have a the axle offset from the center of the axle to the center of the tube is 38 millimeters while on these uh, CR forks it's 35 millimeters so anyway so basically I, I, I that's that's three millimeters difference and then I'm picking up one here so I'm still reducing the trail on my bike by two millimeters which is going to be great it's just going to give it some more straight line stability so and I do not have a problem with that because I do that with uh, on my KTM's I go from the stock 20 to the 18 make some steer better the planted in the corners better anyway so that's it for now and then uh, so you see the front of the bike I got the whole front of the bike off and then uh, okay I'm checking out and I'll be back when I get the forks on bye bye